Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is 8.06 a.m. and Simba's sleeping. Stella's sleeping and Splash is sleeping because it's a rainy day. Boo's not sleeping. Boo woke up a little while ago. Boo slept on the bed last night. Then he jumped on the cat tower this morning. Then when I got out of bed, Boo jumped back on the bed. And then he followed me into the living room. Stella had a slumber party yesterday and everything from her slumber party is still here. Good morning, Stella. Good morning, Simba. Good morning, Splash. Good morning, Boo. I think it's about 9.30 a.m. right now and I just looked outside to see if it was raining because I'm waiting for the rain to let up so I can go give Hydrox some food. I'd rather he just stays in the nice cozy shelter then go out in the rain and get wet because it's still cold out. I mean, right now it's about 50 degrees, so it's warmer than it has been. It's a lot warmer than it has been, but you know, it's still wet and cold. Look what's going on with this heated kitty cafe. So yesterday, um, last night, I went out and I gave Hydrox some tuna and I gave it to him in the food bowl that you see on the left, but it was in the kitty cafe. And the water bowl was in the kitty cafe. Both of those bowls were in the kitty cafe. And today, they are out of the kitty cafe, so I don't know who took those bowls out. I'm assuming it was a raccoon, but I am going to have to check the security footage and see. Hopefully, the camera caught something. Today, the cats are doing a live stream from their cozy cabin. It is a cozy winter cabin setting with lots of plaids and animal prints and cozy round cat beds and a scratching post and green craft paper that they like to lay on and crunch up. There's also nature videos that they can watch. And to go with their cozy cabin theme, they are each getting a fish. Okay, Stella, I'll give you each a fish, okay? Each bed got a fish. Stella already took her fish out of one of the beds. There goes Splash. He's going to get his fish. Wow, is Boo going to get his fish? Boo doesn't really like these round beds. But look, Boo got his fish. Be nice. Be nice, Splash. Be nice, Boo. Everyone be nice. And enjoy your fish. It is 7.35 p.m. I just got home. And Hydrox was meowing for me on the patio. So I gave him some food. He has homemade raw food with some warm water. And I don't know. I don't know why he didn't walk over to eat it. Sometimes he's weird like that. He wants it, he stopped meowing, but he's not going over to eat it. Very strange. What are you doing, Hydrox? I put your food in I put your food in the feeder. 
It's in the kitty cafe. Go, go eat it in the kitty cafe. It's in the kitty cafe. Yeah, the heated thing under the table. You can eat it over there. You want to eat it over here? It's too close to your shelter to eat it over here. What would you like to do? I just moved the bowl of food out from the feeder to a few feet away from where Hydrox was. He did not even go over to the bowl. He just ran across the patio. And it is really windy today. So there's like all these random gusts of wind. And I think the wind spooked him and that's why he ran but I'm gonna go put this on the other side of the patio where he likes it and uh, hopefully he'll eat it there I will be back outside in a little bit yeah so then I'll be able to check it right now it's 9 35 p.m. and I was just outside and Hydrox was on the patio he meowed at me so I'm gonna go give him some food his bowl is empty and Boo was here inside and Boo and Hydrox were talking to each other through the door, they were both meowing at each other. And um, I went to go get the camera. And of course I come back and then they both stop. I just gave him one of the Sheba domes in his bowl. He's getting the chicken. And I mixed in a bunch of water with it. He should like that. It is 9.41 p.m. and I just saw that Hydrox's bowl was empty. So I gave him one of the other Sheba domes. And this is the seafood. It's like a seafood medley. Mix water in. And what I noticed when I went out there was that there was some of the meat still in the bowl. So Hydrox really just goes for the liquid. The liquidy portions. And um, yeah, so this is... This is going to be it for him. So he had the homemade raw food, which I don't know how much of that he ate. I don't know if he ate all of it or some of it. Then he had the Sheba, the chicken, and he's having the seafood. I don't want him to get sick from eating too much food, but I did not feed him any food earlier in the day because it was just pouring rain all day. And I think it's better for him just to kind of hang out in his house than be out in the cold pouring rain. And it's better for him to just like skip a meal if he needs to. Um, but he had plenty of dry food in the feeder, and he's eating now, so that would be why he's extra hungry tonight. Right now it's 6.44 a.m. The sun is just starting to come up. But this is the prime time when cats would be outside and hunting their prey. I just turned on what used to be the undercover mouse for Stella. And I'm sorry if you can't see anything. I know it's dark, but I just wanted to document this. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. So right now, Splash, Simba, and Stella are all hunting this mouse. I just came outside to give Hydrox some food and Hydrox is up today. He's not sleeping in his shelter and uh, he hasn't really been meowing much, just a little bit. But let me show you what's going on with the automatic feeder. I don't know how long this has been like this, but I just noticed it. So the bowl of the automatic feeder is held on to the rim that attaches it to the unit by binder clips. And it's held on by several binder clips. And somehow, there's a binder clip and there's also a binder clip um, in the corner there on the left. I'm assuming it was raccoons. They've managed to get two of the binder clips off the bowl. I don't know how they've done that. I don't know how long it's been like that, but I'm going to put those binder clips back on the bowl. I just put them back on the bowl. They both came from that left side there uh, toward the back of the unit. I just refilled the Thermo Kitty Cafe with water. And then I gave Hydrox his food in this bowl inside of the patio. Look at that. He just smelled it and then he walked away. That's his favorite homemade raw food. Hopefully he'll come back to it. Who was playing with the cat charmer video and he stopped it. The question is, is he smart enough to put it back on? Huh? He changed the channel.
The cats love tearing up paper. They also love laying on paper, so when I set up yesterday's live stream, I put some pieces of paper out for them to lay on. And I also crumpled up a few pieces of paper for them to play with. And that's what Simba's been chewing. There's like a ball of paper. There's Splash, he's watching Boo play with the Cat Charmer video. I find that giving them good distractions while I'm trying to get ready for my day actually works as far as keeping them distracted and not just bothering me for breakfast. So lately I've been giving them breakfast after I'm like ready for my day. It is 5.28 p.m. right now. I got home a few minutes ago to turn the light on for the live stream because I forgot to put a light on this morning. and. The live stream will go dark if I don't leave a light on. And I just give Hydrex his dinner. He's getting three scoops of the homemade raw food with a bunch of warm water. And um, yeah, he's eating it well. Good boy, Hydrex. It's about 9 p.m. right now and we ended today's live stream. And I want to give a shout out to Paul Carey who donated $25. He says Simba is the best Italian pizza cat. And yes, Simba is. Tonight I am trying something new. So I added um, this kind of like a snack table to um, the cat towers and the cat condo that are by the windows. So there's room for four cats here. Uh, prior to me adding this, it was a cat tower, a condom, and a cat tower. And a lot of times Stella, Splash, and Simba would be on these three pieces of cat furniture. But I put this here because I want to see what will happen. Like, will all four cats sit in the window at the same time? If all four cats sit in this window at the same time, then what I eventually would like to do is get four cat trees or cat condos that match and look nice and uh, use those. Um, but if all four cats will not sit in this window, then I'm not going to do that. But right now it's a bit of a hodgepodge. So we'll see. I have no idea what time it is right now, but it's after 9 a.m. I think it's sometime between 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. And I just gave the cats their breakfast. I slept in today. And they're getting homemade raw food with some warm chicken broth mixed in. And then one of the Primal Raw freeze-dried rabbit nuggets sprinkled on top, split among the four of them. And they're all eating their breakfast. Now yesterday, um, I did not really give them any crunchies last night. So they should be good and hungry today. Simbu was not eating his food well, and Boo was not eating his food well, so I said, you know what, I'm just going to cut back on crunchies, that way they'll have more of an appetite for, you know, the healthier food. It seems to have worked because I did not have to bribe anyone to eat um, their breakfast today, and Boo's eating at the table, and so was Simba. Here, Simba, you want this? Even though right now Simba wants to eat on the stairs. The cats are still working out their relationship amongst each other, and as they do that, different cats don't want to eat near other cats. Like, something is going on between Splash and Boo, and something's going on between Splash and Simba, and Splash is turning into, like, the bully of the group, which is kind of surprising, but it's a little weird. Stella and Boo are having a romantic candlelit breakfast now that the boys have gone upstairs. My buddy came to eat this morning, and another cat showed up with whiteboard, and he, Buddy didn't know this cat. So he was staring him down, staring him down, and then the cat went behind the car. The cat left, and then Buddy was still looking, then Buddy approached him, and I don't know. He, he uh, what do you call it? I guess he chased him away. 
and we didn't see him. He didn't come back for a while. And then finally, he came back by himself, and he wanted food, so he just fed Buddy, because I guess Buddy's being territorial. He doesn't want anybody, any strange cat that he doesn't know coming and eating. Yeah. Like, he accepts Olive, but mm -hmm. his other one now, it was like, it was so funny, like, <laughs> he was, you know, growling you, and staring you, at me down. Did you take a picture of the other cat? No, I didn't take a, any picture. Mm. And that's it, so. Right now it's about 11.30 a.m. Simba's in the cat condo. Hey, Simba. Ever since I moved this cat condo so the holes are on the side and the scratching part is in the front, now all of a sudden they go in it. They never went in it when the holes were in the front, but I have not seen them use the scratching part yet. It's about 12 p.m. right now, and I just gave Stella the cat charmer video to watch. Stella has the cat charmer video on the tablet, and she has bird videos on the TV. So right now she's watching bird videos on the TV. Then she goes back to playing with the cat charmer video on the tablet. Cats are a lot like kids in the fact that some of them require more mental stimulation than others. It is 1.22 p.m. right now and I just fed Hydrax half of a can of the Nature's Variety canned cat food. This is chicken pate. I added some water to it and I was going to put it in the heated kitty cafe, but then I moved it to the other side of the patio because Hydrax was over here and he was meowing. So he seems to be enjoying that. I'm supposed to be out of here in about a half hour and one thing that I know about cats is they don't care about schedules. They actually hate schedules. The only time they like being on a schedule is when they're getting fed. They like getting fed at the same time every day. But if you're a human and you're dealing with cats, they don't like humans being on a schedule. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrells video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos. And please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.